the next step would be to uh, set, start setting up your geometry. The first thing you're going to do is define your uh, box or your stock, the size of the material you're cutting your um, thing out of, your file out of. And you really have two choices, box stock and part stock. Um, box stock allows you to um, tell the machine what size your material is, you know, by number. So if my material is 12 inches by 12 inches by um, a half inch thick, I can type those in there and hit OK, and it will draw our uh, stock there. So we can um, see what it looks like. The other option is if you don't have a piece cut already, uh, or you don't know what size it's going to be, you can do part from stock, which will allow you to, it. the machine will figure it out, the program will figure it out for you, and make a piece of stock the smallest size that your geometry will fit into. Um, you can also uh, program in offsets. Um, so if I want to have, say, a half inch in the X and a half inch in the Y extra on my stock, um, and uh, I want to tell it how thick it is, so 0.5, and I want to um, do it in the minus Z. Because whenever we're cutting, we're always going to be cutting, or most of the time, we're going to be cutting in the negative Z dimension. Um, so I want my stock to be in the negative Z dimension. So I hit OK. And here it draws a, st a stock with a half inch border around it and a half inch below the Z surface. Um, so Either one of those is um, acceptable, and it just depends on which way you want to, um, whichever is easiest for the way you work, um, or if you you know you know the size of your stock ahead of time. Uh, okay, so that's it for um, defining your stock. Uh, I'm going to go back to box stock. Um, uh, so we can, the, the, our next um, setups will be more obvious. So now I've got my stock. I'm in the positive Z, but um, we'll fix that in a minute. And my all my geometry that I'm going to cut is justified to this corner. So the next thing I want to do is locate my stock um, in relation to the world coordinates. If you notice here, let's cancel that. If you notice here, my 0, 0 does not line up with the corner of my stock, which is going to make zeroing the router um, more difficult. So I want my the corner, some um, place on my stock that's easily findable um, to be at that zero zero, so I can uh, zero the machine easily. Uh, so I'm going to move this geometry, or I'm going to move my stock so that it I can orient it re relative to the world coordinates. Uh, and that's this locate world coordinate system. Um, and I want to move my stock. So I'm going to select that. And then I want uh, zero face at the highest Z. That'll set the um, the top of my stock at the highest Z point of my geometry. 
and then I can position it. Uh, I can position that uh, world coordinates uh, relative to my stock. Right now, it's set at northwest. If I did center, it would put the zero zero right in the center of my stock. Uh, east, the middle of the east side. Um, but what I want is I want that zero zero closest to the computer so that uh, it's easier for me to zero uh, the machine. So if I'm using the small router, I want that uh, to be in the southwest. If I'm using the big router, I want that to be in the southeast. Um, so today I'm going to use the south, the small router. So I'm going to be in the southeast, which means my stock is going to be in positive y and positive x, positive y, positive x, and then I hit OK. So my stock and my geometry move so that the corner of the stock is uh, right there at the um, zero zero. So my next step is to locate my geometry within the stock. I want the Z alignment to be at the top so that uh, the topmost part of my geometry is at the top surface of my stock. And then depending on where I want my geometry to be, I can change that. Uh, generally, we'll put it in the center because that leaves us the most cushion um, for cutting it out. But if we have a lot of um, uh, scrap here that you know would be good for something else, we can position that you know in one of the corners or the other, or you know however you'd like. And you can see it moves around, but I'm going to keep it in the center and make sure my Z alignment again is at the top and hit OK. All right, so now all my geometry is set. So I'm in the center of my stock. Uh, you can see the the uh, curves up here on the top that um, are right on the top surface of my stock. So um, that's all good now. So now I'm all set. I'm ready to start uh, creating my tooling paths. Um, my machine is set up, the reaccess, my post is set up, my stock is set up, and my geometry is um, positioned within that stock.